Hey family, here we are again, 20 minutes core and arms. This is a lot of burpee alternatives because sometimes burpees can be difficult, painful, or too advanced. So we're going to do exercises that work the same muscles. Here's the first exercise, you're in a plank and you're going to bring your foot up as close to your feet as you can. Make sure that you're taking your time, you're keeping your back flat, your arms are strong, and your hands are right underneath your shoulders. If you need a modification, feel free to drop down to your elbows and you're doing the same exact thing, bringing your foot up as high as you can. You should be feeling this in your arms, your core, and you might even feel your quads. Great job, we have about 10 seconds left. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're keeping your back flat. We're keeping good form the whole way through. And three, two, and one. Excellent, take some rest. Yes, good job. Keep fighting, keep pushing. Let it burn. Those abs should be feeling real tight. You should be squeezing your abs, trying to pin that belly button down to the floor and bring that knee all the way into the elbow as much as you can. Great job, you got five seconds left. So this next move is the ultimate modified burpee. You're doing a burpee on your knees. Come out to a flat plank and then reach right up. Trust me, after one minute, you feel these. Here we go. Make sure you're really coming out to a flat plank. Your butt is not too high. And when you drop down to your knees, you're reaching right up. You're working those arms and you're keeping your posture tall. Now we're gonna move into our plank ups. Take your time, hips flat, and make sure you alternate your arms. Take your time.
as you can see the modification is on your knees if that's what you need let these exercises meet you where you are today queen do not feel like you have to do something that you're not ready for the more you practice the more you work on something the easier it becomes so if you need to be on your knees the entire one minute go for it we have about 35 seconds left let's get it We're coming to the end of our rest. The next move is a crunch. You're gonna keep your knees up. Your arms come from overhead. You swing up and you touch your heels. Really try to take your time. Crunch as hard as you can. Get the most out of every motion. Also, if you ever want to take this move up a notch, you can hold dumbbells in your hand. It can be small and light, two pounds, three pounds. Trust me, it adds up. That's if you wanna take it up a notch. Yes, lady, you are almost there. Keep pushing, keep fighting. You have 10 seconds left. We got to get through this. If you stop, jump back in. You can do anything for these last five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. You earned your rest. Breathe slowly. Control it. Rest. You're doing amazing. For this next exercise, you're in a plank and you're jumping your feet forward. It can be a small jump or it can be no jump at all. You can walk your feet in one at a time, walk them back one at a time, whatever you need. Let's get it. Once again, here's that modification where you're walking your feet in one at a time. If this is where you need to be today, do not feel bad about it because you're still getting 100% of the benefit. Take your time, keep your hips flat, keep your arms strong, and make sure you breathe. When you feel good, if you feel ready, go back for some jumps. You can even alternate it. Check me out. I'm jumping in, jumping back, and then I walk in. Whatever you need, remix it however works for you. I am so proud of you still going. Those arms are getting tired, I know, but you're almost there. Let's go. Alright, so this next move is very, very important. This works on core control. You want to do this as slow as possible. You're laying out flat and then you come up to hold your knees up for two seconds. Flat, come up, hold, and back down. This might be one of those exercises that looks very simple, but trust me, you might find yourself unbalanced or not able to do it. If that is you, you can just lay out flat and bring your knees up. You're still working your core. As you get stronger, you will be able to bring your body up as well and balance on your butt. Great job, keep pushing, keep fighting. Wherever you are today, be proud of that because I'm proud of you. 
Go ladies! That was a tough one. Take your rest. Lay out. Breathe. Relax. Don't even move a muscle. You got 20 more seconds of rest. Take it. This next exercise coming up is really excellent for the core. It's excellent for building wrist strength. You're going to come down onto your knees. Come up into your flat plank and then lean forward a little bit. You're going to feel this, trust me. Take your time, lean forward a little bit. Even if you can't lean forward today, come up into a plank and then drop those knees down. Just work on that first part. That alone is a lot of core control. video core and arms <laughs> trust me you are getting stronger queen you're getting stronger with every rep every set so keep going we are taking it right back to those bicycles so you can go ahead and get in position we have five seconds let's get into it for building single arm strength you're in your plank and you're going to slowly transfer your weight to one side at a time keep your feet wide that's going to help you balance better tough for you drop down to your knees keep your hips flat and you can do the exact same thing you're still going to bring your hand up to the side hold it for a second and continue to alternate for the next 30 seconds Right, you are breathing. 
breathing breathe girl we almost there we are more than halfway through here's the next move we're right back to those crunches where we crunch up and we get as close to our heels as we can Alright, take your last seconds of rest. Now we're going to be in a plank position and we are strengthening the arms in the core by lifting one leg at a time. You should also be squeezing your glutes. Keep those arms nice and tight right under you. If you feel like this is tough, you can always drop down to your forearms and lift your legs the same exact way. You're still working your core, you're still working your arms. So do not feel bad if this is what you need. Find something that works for you and rock out for the entire minute. You are doing fabulous. Keep going, keep pushing. Even when you wanna stop, fight it out. Your body wants to stop, but your mind has to be strong. Your mind has to say no. We are doing this. We have goals, okay, ladies? So let's go. We got 15 seconds left. If you stop, jump back in because I need you to finish this. I know you can do it and you know you can do it. So let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, girl, that's what I'm talking about. Take your rest. For our core move, we are right back to those balancing abs. If you needed the modification, go for it. If you're feeling good, go for the full motion. Bringing your knees up, balancing on your butt. Here we go. Hey, Fight girl, fight. Get those knees up, keep your abs tight, keep going. I am not going to let you quit. I know, I see you, it's tough. It's tough for all of us, but we all are fighters. This is a strong exercise, but we are stronger. Let's go. We have 12 seconds, 11, 10, nine, eight, fight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. What we're looking at next to work our arms and our core is plank jacks. You're going to jump apart, but you're going to walk your feet back in one at a time. Jump out, in, in. those hips down I see those hips creeping up 
keep them flat. Don't let your booty get high in the air. Of course, if you need a modification, you can definitely drop down to your forearms. As with all of these exercises, do what you need to do and what's best for your body. We coming up on 20 seconds, lady. Guess what? This is the last exercise of the workout. Leave it all here. Everything you got, put it in. You're tired? I know. Keep fighting. Keep pushing. Prove it to yourself that you are strong because you are. Last seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Take some rest. Breathe. Grab your water. Make sure you're staying hydrated. You did a phenomenal job. These exercises are not easy. They're not. And you might be thinking, why is this so difficult for me? But anything that challenges you is changing you for the better. If it does not challenge you, it will not change you. And it is a waste of your time. So the videos, the exercises will continue to be a challenge that you can strive towards, whether you wanna stay up for the entire minute, whether you want to move away from all the modifications. And that's a good thing. It's a good thing that you're tired, you're feeling sore, the things are not easy. That is a good thing because guess what? One day you're gonna turn around and you're gonna do these very same videos, very same exercises with ease. And you're gonna be extremely proud of yourself. You're going to see all the hard work that you put in. You're gonna see all the payoff. And I'm gonna be so proud of you. I love it. And I hope that you stick with it. And I appreciate you watching my video working out with me and I hope that you subscribe you comment what you want to see more of you like and you share with a friend that might also want to work out with us. thank you so much